Hi, Bella. It's Ian here. Bella, we discussed that uh, lat long tools in QGIS briefly, and I just want to show you how to use it because uh, I think it's going to be useful for you, specifically when you when you're querying those columns. So what we can do, or what we need to do, is first turn on the plugin. So if you go to your plugins menu and open Manage and Install Plugins, you're going to need to search for lat lon. So if you go to All and then type in lat lon then you'll see mine's already activated so you'll need to select this and then click on install okay so then once that's installed i'm going to close that what you should get immediately is a little toolbar popping up called latlon tools i need to turn mine on and it's down here and it looks like this okay so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, need to use this tool to capture new points using coordinates that someone has given you or you have uh, you located elsewhere okay so let's do that and to do that we first of all need a new point file so let's open up a a new shape file and we'll give it a name uh, drilling sites okay it's going to be a point file it's going to have a name column as well as a coordinates a coordinates column we add that as well and that's it okay and then what we'll do is we'll just briefly uh, change the settings for symbology we'll make it a nice red dot and then for labels we're going to label on the name uh, we'll make it a buffer we'll give it a distance of three and the text can be slightly bigger than everything else. Uh, what should we make it? Let's make it 12, so not that much bigger. And then I want to make this text distinctive, so I'm just going to give it a yellow buffer. Okay, and the last thing I want to do is I just want a, a default value for the coordinates. So it's going to be... Okay, so now I want to return the X and Y coordinates. So I'm going to go dollar sign $Y, okay. And then what I should then do is go dollar sign x. Okay, that would that should return those coordinates. Let's see if this. Okay, that's not working like that. Okay, so what I want to do is I need to concatenate, and I also need to shorten these. So what I'm going to do is put these both in inside brackets like this, or well not like that, like this, and like that. And I want to return from the left that value but I want nine values I'm then going to concatenate this so I want to join I want the latitude and longitude together so I'm going to use the on my keyboard as that little uh, uh, straight or horizontal lines to concatenate with something else and then inside single inverted commas I'm going to have a a comma and then another comma and then the concatenate lines again to return the x value which is also going to be left and nine values so comma nine okay let's just briefly have a look at that so the latitude concatenated with a comma concatenated with the longitude okay so but only returning nine values from the left okay so that works uh, let's say okay right so now that we have those things all set up we can use this tool so in order to activate or for this to become available to us we need to start editing so we're going to toggle an editing session and you'll see that now becomes colored up which means it's available to us and then we can select it and then it's just a case of punching in your value so i'm going to click inside this little uh, window and then type out minus 2.747637 that's the latitude and then separated by a comma so you want a comma and then i'm going to go 29 f uh, for this for longitude 217705 for longitude and then add feature okay so by default it's giving us our coordinates which we which is what i expect to see based on what we typed in there the id can be zero and then the name is what was it it was rumvia and okay and exit and uh, okay there we go okay so it's labeling 
it's uh, in the right place by the looks of things and what happens after you've entered a new point it automatically zooms your view to well zooms the point to the center of your view okay and that's that's pretty much what you were looking for so we can save that uh, why is this not found let's just double check and see that there is a new record there and there is okay so I'm not too sure what that was about but it is working and so you can use that tool to capture new sites and that should be useful when you're trying to determine uh, if those Colleen's have got the correct name based on where those drilling sites uh, are proposed and and that's how you can use it okay so now if that's all you want to use this tool for that's that's pretty much it for this video you can you can go ahead and start using it um, I'll just show you a few other things if you're interested with regards to this little at long tools so there are a couple other options here there's this one which is fairly useful if you want to return a the coordinate for any point on your map so if you click on that one and then you scroll around with your cursor wherever you want to be you can use your snapping tools if you like let's use our snapping tools to snap to some vertex maybe the drilling site as well and let's say we want to snap to there okay what is the coordinate for that point there so if you click there it copies the coordinate to your clipboard which you can then take and paste into a text editor or into a spreadsheet however you like okay so that's how you can return various values so let's get that one as well and this one and you see how that works so it's quite a nice tool you can go about and if you use a snapping tool as well you can snap two points and return the exact coordinate for that point so this should be similar to the one we entered in when we started this tutorial which looking at it now on the page in front of me is correct okay great alright so that's 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 that tool the next one is this little one here if I hover over it the explanation is show in external map okay so if you don't want to show this in QGIS for instance you want to show it in um, Google Maps or Google Earth um, you can set that as your external map viewer so using our tools here so, so this is for the settings of that long tool so if you click on that and then go to the external map tab you can see there is a, uh, a default option here so if we use Google Map then what that'll do is it'll use your default browser and open up in Google Maps and we can show marker on QGIS map as well and the zoom level that zoom level is fine okay so let's say okay and let's test that tool so let's uh, using that tool let's click on the point we've added and view it in Google Maps okay so you see it immediately starts opening up my default browser and then zooms to that point and if we zoom out looks like it's in the right place because there is Burundi there's Bujumbura and we were sitting up here in Sibitoke so that's that looks like it's correct okay so that's if you want to view it in an external map view uh, how else okay there's this option here which is zoom to coordinate so you can paste a coordinate in okay so you can type a coordinate in there and click zoom to coordinate and then it just pans the view to that coordinate then there's this one let's just zoom to previous oh zoom to previous please there we go and let's delete that okay this one here allows you to add multiple points okay so it pops up with a little dialog box like this we'll leave this I guess you can dock it if you want we'll just leave it hovering over here let's leave it hovering there and then maybe move our view over slightly okay so what you can do with this one is you can actually capture various points and then it's going to list them so we can capture maybe our site something else Bujumbura etc and you can actually add the labels as well hmm. etc 
and then what you can do is you can either you can convert that to a uh, a point file and save it as a shape file or you can save it out to csv uh, etc so let's actually show all of those and then let's see what it looks like if we save it as a vector file and then let's close that tool there we go so now there's our new our new points that we've just captured Let's put it under our drilling site. Okay, so there's that option. Then there's this option here, copy map canvas to extend. So if we, okay, so, so whatever your map extent is, your current extent, much like this tool uh, which allows you to copy the coordinate, this one copies the extent to, uh, to a clipboard. So if we pasted that in a clipboard, there we go, so top left hand coordinate, bottom right hand coordinate. Okay, so then that's your extent. Don't know when you'd use that. And then also you can convert coordinates. So let's have a look at how this might work. So we've got coordinates. Let's paste the one we, oh no, that's the extent, so we don't want that one. Let's go and capture one from here. Paste it in here. And then I guess we've got to run the conversion. Oh, it wants us to click on the map. So let's see how that works. Oh, there we go. So if we click on the map, it will then uh, select and return the converted coordinates for that point. Okay, so you actually need to click on the map. And we've got a number of different options here for the current, well, the current project CRS, for a customized CRS, uh, what it, what's the one we used? UTM Zone 35 South. There we go. So that's what that would be in meters. Uh, degrees, minutes, seconds. Degrees, minutes, or degrees, decimal minutes. Degrees, minutes, seconds, etc. Standard UTM, etc., etc. And there's a number of other uh, coordinate options here as well. Okay, so there's that option and then the one we've already used. So quite a useful tool. Um, I think you probably are going to find it useful. It might save you ex importing CSV uh, coordinates all the time and uh, yeah, might uh, speed up your, your work process there. So good luck with that. Uh, let me know how it goes and if you have any questions, give me a shout. Cheers.